Hello and welcome to another Lost Legion Miniatures YouTube video. This video I will be showing you how to make scale barb wire using telephone wire in this, this instance. I believe our friends in the States call this bell wire, telephone wire, bell wire and some of the tools you'll be using you can get specially stripping tools which will, you, you will set to the required distance and from there you just strip the insulation off or if you haven't got those a pair of wire cutters side cutters long nails pliers exactly the same not too much pressure and just strip in small sections and what we're looking for at the end of all that is two lengths of the stripped wire and we're going to work with approximately a foot to two foot lengths and in the background you will see I also have a pre-made jig. The jig is just a block of wood with tacks, not nails, you want panel pins at best and this will become evident if you're making long runs of wire as you can wrap it round like so and the other part of the jig the front part contains an eye a little screwing eye and the reason for that will be you will take your two pieces of wire you will attach them to the eye and make off the end just twist off the end to secure it like so from there you take your two strands of wire and twist them down the length this is very time consuming the other technique you can use is suspend it and twist away right the way up the full length of the wire. I've cut the wire down to a short section just to show you a little tip, a trick that I use for making the barbed wire and that is to take your battery drill or Dremel tool type tool you open the chuck take your two opposite ends place them into the vice jaws like so and tighten you could do a similar connection with another eye and attach that into the chuck and tighten with this I will just use the bare wire straight in you want it on a variable speed and a low setting on the torque and from there very gently not too much speed and twist the wire down the full length once that is complete remove the wire from your chuck and the opposite end from your jig and you will have a finished section of twisted wire, pair wire. Now the jig is again I've used a short section on this wire so what I will do is adjust the jig to make a short section on the pin. We then attach our twisted wire to the jig pull tight like so individual barbs are then made and attached the full length of the wire using two pliers these are in place and tightened now that, will, that will continue the full length of the piece of wire that you're doing short sections like this are ideal for war games tables and they can be then implemented onto stands into barbed wire sections 
entire runs can be made it's a very time consuming process but the overall effect is very worth it in the end and with the use of some camera magic or shall we call it skipping to the end your two piece of wires are then barbed along in individual sections um, you can see there it's roughly every 8 millimeters, which is just right for the scale that I'm going to be using on Warhammer the barbs are tied on short lengths like so wrapped around your finished length of wire or twisted wire which is very fiddly and then with the use of two pairs of one pair of pliers on one end and a second pair of pliers on the other tighten into position like so and a second twist may be required like so and that's carried out the full length of the stretch of wire. I've used about a foot length of wire, 12 inches of wire. Obviously this can be cut down into sections and used on your models or as I'm going to use on this length coiled up and put on top of one of the rhinos which I um, will be putting on the website shortly. The last one is tied the way I actually went about doing this was each individual barb was cut to about 3-4 cm lengths I wrapped them round loosely like so at the end pulled each one down into position and tightened once they are in position and you're happy with the tautness the spacing and the gaps between the barbs you can for added security to stop the barbs slipping or any of the twines coming undone put a little bit of added security and strength take your super glue I've already done up to that section one drop onto the barbs like so all the way along Prior to that, obviously, a good pair of wire cutters, piano wire cutters, and just snip the barbs to length. So after each of the barbs are cut down to size, a drop of super glue is added to each barb, and that will help set in place and hopefully stop any movement of the barbs and there we have a finished section of barbed wire and you can see the individual barbs the spacing on the length of wire there remove the section of wire from your jig like so once the glue has dried on the section of barbed wire if you want to do the coil effect it's very simple again the correct scale that you're working to in this instance again for 40k I will be using a very large screwdriver you can use a pencil or pen wrap it around like so again very simple all the hard work has now been completed with the barbs this is the simple easy part now and there you have your concertina 
stretch of barbed wire. The leftover insulation from the stripped wire, don't throw this away. Keep this, it's very useful for making scenic bases and for using it as wire and even coiled wire or piping on your models and your miniatures.